Subaru, Subaru sucks. <laughs> Fair. Took a walk through the garden, goddamn I feel like the Knicks. You would think my name is Derek for all these roses I sniffed. I think I'm tripping off the fumes. Focus not to fall over, need this way. Today, we're installing inner tie rods. We lost all of the footage that we recorded before. But we have markings, so like caliper, the hub bore, um rear of the rotor and where the caliper sits at full lock <clears throat> that's on both sides these are the megan racing inner tie rods they seem pretty sturdy but for starters jack up the car get on jack stands as you can kind of see here in this disaster of a tiny garage And then the next step will be to get the castle nut loose. So we're going to figure out what size that is and go from there. After you get the cotter pin out, the tie rod end castle nut is a 19 millimeter. Now it's best before you break everything loose to get the lock nut on the tie rod end broken loose, you'll need a 14 mil and a 19 mil wrench. So now you turn the wheel to full lock and you grab a hammer. And just give it a few taps. And the tie rod end will come out. If it does give you some trouble, just flip the castle nut around so you don't destroy any of the threads. And then hit it from the top. Now that the tie rod end is out of the hub, you'll have the washer that's up here. Just take that down and back in there is a clip you can't really see it but that's covering the or holding the dust boot to the steering rack you got to take that off so right here is the clip grab a flathead jam it in there and just essentially break it try not to tear the dust boot it's a one-time use clamp uh, you pry it and on the back when you get it off you'll see how it works it just kind of presses together after you get the dust boot off if you're using a crow's foot you don't have to take it off you just got to move it out of the way it's a one and three sixteenths we're using a rental tool from AutoZone and it's not really working out, but we're trying. Grab a breaker bar and just bust the inner tie rod loose. You'll see it as soon as you move the big end of the dust boot loose. You'll see the two little points where a crow's foot will fit. After you break it loose, you can just untwist it by hand. And then boom. There we go. It's finally out but there's two edges on it for the crow's foot use a breaker bar to break it loose tried an impact and uh, that didn't go very well but if you've got a one and eight sixteenths that is the perfect size now that we've got the OEM out this is the Megan Racing inner tie rod it definitely feels a little bit lighter it's supposed to be sturdier too but we'll find out I'm good at breaking things Max. <laughs> shut up James <laughs> <laughs> um, 
it looks like the main difference is the collar and the part that goes into the steering rack is actually longer so that's about it it is a little bit smaller in diameter it looks like I'm not gonna measure it because I'll have a way to measure it and then it comes with its own little lock nut so now it's time to reassemble it and just make sure all the measurements line up we counted 18 turns for the stock alignment so we're pretty much just going to go with that Caught in not 4K. <laughs> <coughs> so, anyways, you were saying, James. So the stock one, yeah, it feels heavier than the this one, the Mega Racing one. Mega Racing one, but at the same time, it feels like it's a better material. So it, I have a feeling it's gonna be a lot stronger, and since. That guy right there likes to break shit. I think it's going to be a lot harder for him to break. I hope so. <laughs> Me too. Because this is a pain in the ass just watching him. I don't want to help him do it again. Moral support. Exactly. And and beer refills as we have the <laughs> rest of the 12 pack of Angry Orchards in the background. But I definitely think this one's going to be a lot better for, you know, just even daily driving than the stock ones you know he he likes to take corners fast so i feel like this one's gonna be a lot better than uh... the megan racing is supposed to have faster steering response which is kind of gonna suck with the electric power steering but yeah. it it's yeah. just a learning curve and then it's supposed to give a little bit more steering angle so should be able to take turn sharper and get some more angle when we go drifting tomorrow oh and this is from subaru and subaru sucks <laughs> fair for getting the megan racing inner tie rod on it's gonna be the 29 if you get the loner tool i'm assuming that means 29 millimeter it's a little bit big so it's probably actually a 28 but our kit's missing that. So after you're done installing the inner tie rod, it's just reversing the process. Everything's buttoned up now. That's the factory steering lock. That's the Mega Racing steering lock. I don't have an angle finder, but I'm assuming that's about five degrees of steering angle. Also, you're going to have to use a crescent wrench for the new lock nut. The 19 will not fit on it. And we ended up having to use zip ties for the dust boot. Sorry, the video is kind of low quality and rushing. We're prepping to get ready for Spirit Peaks tomorrow. I wasn't supposed to work today. Ended up having to work. But essentially for the install... If you have a light, super helpful. Breaker bar, torque wrench, pliers, needle nose is going to be your best bet, but regular pliers work. Crescent wrench, 14 mil, 19 mil, a tape measure for doing the alignment, a 19 mil socket, again for the castle nut, WD-40, and that's pretty much it. A flathead screwdriver, some dikes to cut the ends of the zip ties with and i'm using a regular pick so the wd-40 goes in under the boot so you can slide it off easier